So the next piece up here for review is this wonderful wardrobe. Now I've got the measurements in the uh, description and I'm just gonna kind of go through some of what I did in the history of, of this piece. And that's what makes these things so interesting is, you know, you look at pictures, you just, you don't know, you know, much about what it is and, you know, uh, the details until, you know, you either see something like this, a video, or, you know, get to see it in person. So you're more than welcome to check it out in person if you're in the area. I'm in Denver. And, uh, but if not, here's a little story about it. So this was actually a television cabinet. And uh, I don't have a lot of room in here. I'm running out of room. I got so much furniture that I'm working on. Um, so, uh, but it was a, a really nice television cabinet. It's just, it was an ugly color. And um, it's actually a brand name. And I'll look at that in a moment and show you the brand name. But um, what I did was I gave it, uh, sanded it, and uh, we put uh, the weathered, weathered gray finish on here and a coat of polyurethane, actually multiple coats of polyurethane, a water-based polyurethane so it will not yellow. Some urethanes, if you use an oil base, will yellow a little bit. That's great when you're doing something like a wood grain or wood top, you know. But when you're doing colors like this, I really don't want this to yellow, so it's not going to. Um, and then over top of this is, uh, I polished it and waxed it. So it's just got a waxed finish on it and it just feels so nice. As you can tell, I like to, uh, I have a relationship with my furniture. <laughs> so what I did with this television cabinet was I uh, turned it into a wardrobe. Now this is a, um, a full size hanger will fit in here. And, uh, and I have the dimensions for the height. So this will fit like shirts, children's clothes, and um, you know, I, a dress is not gonna hang in here. So, um, you know, it's, it's for either smaller pieces or a, a children's uh, wardrobe. And again, you know, a full-size hanger will fit in there fine with, with space. It's just the height that uh, you need to pay attention to. So down here, um, these are removable these shelves and if you want there's a little there's little pins here and you just take those out with a screwdriver and then you can use this and put a basket in here or something or just you know use it to stack towels or clothes or diapers or whatever so um, I also finished the inside of the cabinet like I do all of my stuff including the top and the things that a lot of times they don't finish on new furniture even the back of this had a big hole in it and it was uh, obviously for a television, a big television. And uh, now we don't have those big televisions with the thing sticking out the back. So I put a OSB, very solid OSB back on this and it is screwed and fastened to the frame. And uh, so it's very solid. And uh, that also helps with the integrity of the piece as far as like it's, it's um, uh, structural uh, integrity. <laughs> so here's the back. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, OSB and I painted the back, so it's the same color. So if you put it against the wall, you're not gonna have a you know, ugly uh, piece of wood sticking out there. So again, this, is, this goes almost all the way to the floor, but it's nice, it's perfectly square. And it helps, it helps keep it, you know, I mean, this thing is so solid, it's not funny. So hardware has all been painted black. The handles, it's the original hardware. Um, the doors are in, in real good shape. They're uh, very solid. It, they open and close nicely. They clip in. I use the original clips, which uh, can easily be replaced if you wanted to, but I think they've got years of life in them. So <clears throat> um, I uh, you know, made sure I finished the bottom. There was a few little dings that uh, um, are, are, have been repaired and uh, doing the weathered finish like this, it's just, it just adds to it. Um, so this is you know, almost probably nicer piece of furniture than it was when it was new in the store and a fraction of the cost. Okay, so as promised, I said I would 
talk about the, uh, the brand name of this, uh, this dresser. And uh, <laughs> this whole time, the finishes and everything I put on, I never pulled it off. So this is kind of a, a fun moment for me. Um, this is like the pulling the, that cover off of your new, your new phone or something. So anyway, here is the furniture manufacturing company. So it's Riverside. Clean that up a little bit. So um, it's Riverside handcrafted in America since 1946. So if you want to look at uh, uh, that online, it's a piece of Riverside furniture that was a television cabinet. If you're interested in this piece, it is a lovely piece. Um, the details are in the description and let me know if you want to check it out and come by and look at it. Or uh, if also, um, I do refinish furniture. So I've had several people say, wow, I love, love this color. Or I love this top. You know, I love this style finish. Can you do that to my piece of furniture? Because uh, it fits perfectly and we love it. We just don't like the color or it needs some repairs. It's falling apart. Uh, just give me a call, send me some pictures and we can, we can save your loved ones. All right, that is it for the wardrobe.